Savage by Megan Thee Stallion. I feel like, I mean, let alone my dad was just like, I'm a savage, like all around the house, always. Hey everyone, it's your girl, Emily Curl, and today we're hanging out with someone I love, Tate McRae. I love seeing you, Tate. It's always so good to see you. <laughs> so good to see you, Tate. <laughs> now, we are going to take the booth for our 2021 iHeartRadio Music Awards. So we're gonna go through the categories and I want you to cast your vote and tell me your faves. Okay, I'm scared. Let's throw up our first category. This one's probably my favorite. We have best lyrics. Oh, this is really hard. I've always thought that I Hope by Gabby Barrett is like the most clever song ever. You know, she talks about how like she hopes this guy gets like everything he wants and then gets it completely ripped away and like cheated on like she did, he did to her. I just have always thought it's like the most clever lyrics I've ever heard. But then again, the same with If the World Was Ending by Julia Michaels and Sophie Sachs. Like, come on. I think those are like my top two. I don't know if I'll be able to decide between those two. Can I do a tie? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think you can do a tie. You can do a tie. <laughs> okay, a tie for that one. I love it. All right, now let's go on to our best music video. Another amazing lineup. Walk me through your process here. Okay, let's hope I've seen all of these. I am like a big weekend fan. So I like basically followed his whole journey from like his entire album and him like all the stories, all the narratives, the whole thing, all the way to the Super Bowl, like in his red suit. Like I just like was a super fan. So I love that. I followed everything and that was one of the ones that I thought was really good. And then I can't remember Dua's video. I mean, she always has like the craziest concepts and stuff. It's visually beautiful. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll say don't start now Dua Lipa because I feel like she always kills the music videos. I love it. All right, let's throw up our next category. We got a few more for you. So next up we have favorite choreography. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this is a hard one. <laughs> Why is this so hard for me to decide? Doja Cat, I feel like just killed it. I feel like she's just like a really great performer. Therefore, I'm, I'm gonna go with Say So because I feel like with the TikTok dance, with her performance, everything. She just like wraps it all together and ties it with a bow, so. Such so, yeah. a good choice, Tate. All right, next up we have best cover song. Okay, I've heard Harry Styles cover of Juice by Lizzo. It's ridiculous. It's like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So <laughs> maybe, maybe Harry's, oh shit, but Heart of Glass by Miley Cyrus is in there. I have to say Miley. That cover is ridiculous. Like one of the best of all time. Like that one is amazing. If you were gonna have another artist cover one of your songs, what would it be? I would wanna see Harry Styles do You Wrote Me First. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna see what that would sound like. Okay, let's throw up our next category for you. We have best fan army. I've heard that Swifties are really like always watching everything she does. Like I heard that they're like checking all the hidden secrets and you know, little eggs and music videos and stuff. So I think Swifties are pretty crazy. So I feel like they would be like the best. I love Taylor Swift and I love her music and her writing. All right, yeah. next up we have TikTok bop of the year. You know, I love TikTok. I love your TikTok. So this is a big one. And I feel like I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this category. TikTok bop of the year. Savage by Megan Thee Stallion. I feel like, I mean, let alone my dad was just like, I'm a savage, like all around the house, always. <laughs> really? So, <who> <laughs> Your dad loves dance? Savage? Did he know the dance? He needs oh, to yeah. learn the dance. Oh, he knew the dance. He doesn't need to learn, he already knows it. It's permanently ingrained in my head already, so I would have to say Savage by Megan Thee Stallion. Who's your favorite like TikTok breakout star? I mean, obviously like, my girl Olivia, I feel like she, like like TikTok really like fueled her rise and I loved seeing it. She's just like the best. Okay, so we have one more for you, Tate. This is the Social Star Award and this is exciting because <laughs> Tate McRae is nominated. <laughs> this was a category that I was like, why am I in here? <laughs> because there's, you know, people voting stresses me out the whole, you know, numbers don't make sense to me, so I can't really picture that I have actual people listening to my music. So, <laughs> I mean, this award was weird. Um, I would vote for, mm, I have to vote for everyone. <laughs> Such a team player, I love it. <laughs> 
Congratulations, we're so excited for you. Social Star Award. That's all the categories we have. Before I let you go, a couple questions for you. First off, let's talk about your single, you, DJ Regard, Troy Sivan. Such a cool collab. Tell me a little bit about how this came about. So I got this song sent to me from Regard. And usually I'm not like a big fan of songs that I don't write. Like I want to be able to write everything. Mm -hmm. So I got this sent to me and it had like the chorus on it and then like the boop, 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 boop. I don't know if that describes <laughs> what the post is. <laughs> um, but I got that sent to me and then I wrote my verse on it and then wrote the pre. And then our team sent it over to Troy's team and then Troy tracked it in Australia and then sent it back to Canada. And like, it was like a full, we were all in three countries putting this song together and it was a crazy experience. How excited are you to play that one live? That one, it, it is fun. I think it's just like a really fun dance beat that I've never done anything like it before. It's just like the best vibes, always. Who else would you love to collab with that you haven't before? I would love to do a collab with Post Malone. Like, I think I would freak out. Like, I think I would die. I don't know how I would process it. Bust. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like that wouldn't register. I would like, cry if I got to be in a studio with him. <laughs> okay, last question for you, Tate, is has there been a song or an album that's really carried you through this pandemic this time? I listened to After Hours a lot in the beginning of the pandemic, or the weekend, and then I listened to Frank Ocean a lot, Blonde. So those were like two that I really loved. Well, Tate, congratulations. Thank you so much for being here, for taking the booth. So nice to see you always. Oh, so good to see you. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Make sure you tune in to the 2021 iHeartRadio Music Awards, Thursday, May 27th at 8, 7 central, only on Fox. We'll see you there.